Welcome to the program, Help from Above. Wherever you are and whatever situation you are facing, help is coming to you from above. I ask you to open your heart and receive help from God who created you. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I'm reading from Isaiah chapter 9 and verse number 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God. It is this phrase, the Mighty God, that I am addressing us about today. Jesus Christ was 100% God and 100% man, according to the scripture. In John's Gospel, chapter 1 and verse number 1, he is described as the, the Word of God that was with God from the beginning, and that indeed that word was God. Jesus, on several occasions, spoke on this. He said, if you have seen me, you have seen my father. He said, I and my father, we are one. He said, the works that I do, I do them because I see my Father do them. So, oh, Jesus is the mighty God, according to the prophet Isaiah. In Colossians chapter 1, verse 16, the Bible says that by him, that's by Christ, were all things created. And nothing was created that was created without him. And that all things were created by him and for him. He is the mighty God. According to Colossians chapter 2, verse 9, he said, In Christ dwells the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Jesus, the mighty God, he did mighty signs and wonders where he walked here on earth and as truly as cried by those who heard him no man could do those things except God be with him you know in first Timothy chapter 3 verse number 16 Paul called him God manifested in the flesh. That's Jesus, the mighty God. He can do all things. He can make a way where there is no way. When he walked here on earth, he opened blind eyes. He unstopped deaf ears. He fed hungry people. And all that heard him 
heard the gracious words that proceeded out of his mouth and as ascribed to him by one of the people he healed when he opened the eyes of the man that was born blind and the religious leaders of his time said no he did it on the Sabbath it must be an infidel they said they don't we don't know him so the, the man who was born blind said yeah you may not know him but he has opened my eyes yeah it is a miracle and, um, you know everywhere he went he was showing signs and wonders Jesus is God incarnate. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3 describes him as the brightness of God's glory. As the express image of his person. And that Christ upholds all things by the word of his power. The mighty God is able to heal you, is able to save you, is able to de defend you, he is able to protect you. And Paul said, I know whom I have believed, and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him, even against that day. In Christ, you have life. In Christ, you are more than a conqueror. In Christ, God is with you. And no man can be against you. In Christ, you are a winner. You are victorious. The mighty God doing mighty things, showing mighty signs and wonders in our current day. He will intervene for you if you will allow him. As I close, I ask you to yield yourself to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can ever ask or think. His name is Jesus, the mighty God. He was there when Moses divided the Red Sea. He was there when Joshua divided the Jordan. He was there with Israel as the rock that followed them, that gave them water. He was there as the one, the, the cloud of glory that covered Israel. The, the bright light that shone upon them and gave them light in the night. His name is Jesus, the mighty God. May I ask you today to commit yourself to him. There is no limit as to what he can do in your life. That mountain can become a playing ground. That Goliath that threatened your life can be brought down. That desert that stirs you in the face can become a fruitful ground. He will raise up the poor out of the ground and lift the beggar out of the, be the, the dunghill in order to set them among princes. I pray for you today. May I ask you, if you have not, allow him into your heart. 
Say, Lord Jesus, I receive you now as my Lord and Savior. Change my life, heal my body, write my name in your book. I confess I am your own. Do mighty things for me. In Jesus' name. Amen. And Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, the mighty God, for your intervention on behalf of every man and every woman, every boy or girl, and all that hear and participate in this service. I command confusion to vanish. I break the power of barriers and obstacles. I command the hand of the enemy to get out of your life. I speak healing in the place of sickness. I command every sickness and disease and ailment to get out of your body from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. You are made whole. I break the power of stagnation, the power that has limited you. By the power of the mighty God, I make a way for you. I proclaim that you are lifted. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, I'd like to hear from you this week. Our uh, contacts are on your screen. Let me hear from you. If this program has been a blessing to you, testify of what God has done for you. And reach us through our various media and share this program with your friends. If you are in Benin City area or you do visit Benin, be sure you stop by to worship with us at His Glory Cathedral of New Covenant Gospel Church by Edo Polo Grammar School in New Benin, Benin City. Continue to win. The mighty God is with you. Amen. Amen.